That's the are hardest. You're tough on yourself. Yeah. You are. Like, whatever anybody ever says about me, it's nothing worse than what I've said yeah. about myself. <laughs> yeah. So. So even the time when, when you was at the club, I remember when you was like doing the gym work, maybe yeah. you didn't see us, but sometimes we, sometimes we would stand at the, at the top yeah, yeah. and just watch and, and listen. And that done, sometimes when you go and sp like necessarily speak to us, um, it can do more for us when, we, when yeah. we just watch and... I totally agree. Sometimes just watching, yeah. ob observing how uh, others do it can... Yeah. Uh, the thing, the thing that, he done, that he done for me, I remember when we was about 15, um, and we was watching his in the gym, and then we watched his go out and, and start the training session, mm -hmm. and it was just the like the focus and the dedication still at the at the stage of your careers that you was yeah. at. Like really the routine. Yeah. Like after every game, I used to row. Yeah, yeah, Used to do my gym work. Used to stretch. And that done a, that done a lot for the academy players. Yeah. Because we realised like you don't just do it to get there, but when you get there, you have to do probably more. Yeah. So for us, we we've agreed to take it one game at a time. Even like targets for this season, we don't want to be like, right, let's try and win the league. We just need to focus on ourselves and that's where you improve. We focus on ourselves, we improve game after game. And Do you feel an improvement? 100%. I feel an improvement in, in not only me as an individual, but as a team, it's so clear. Um, obviously, people don't see the way we respond to things until the next game, but for us, we get to see each other every day. and. The atmosphere, the sort of the willingness to work and and improve, and it's sort of like eagerness to just get better. Yeah. And it's I think it's it's a massive quality that we have. People always talk about the money football. Yeah. Around. The footballers don't play for that, do they? To be honest, you I think play even, to if, love, even if nobody got paid yeah. or it wasn't on TV, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get famous from it. Like I'd still go out and play yeah. with my friends regardless. Um, and I think that's that's for most You'd be most too people. Good for <laughs> Some of my friends are all right though. <laughs> I think that's for most people. Yeah. So yeah. you know, it's I understand why why people can think that because obviously there's a lot of things going on and you can get mm. sort of people's judgments can get clouded. Um, but when it comes down to it, then I think all the players know mm. how they feel about it. I was talking to your mum about Fletcher Moss because my my sons played for Wilmslow. We yeah. always knew we went to Fletcher Moss. It was going to be a hard game. The kids were always going to be bigger. Yeah. If you got a result against them, you knew you were doing well. Yeah, um, Fletcher Moss have always, you know, they've been in a in a good position. And for me, it's just the way that they they dictate the the training sessions. It's it's so much fun. And I always say that when you're a kid, if something's not fun, you can't be you can't be your best. Um, but you know, if something's fun, you never know how good you can you can become. And I think Fletcher must hold them them values like quite quite strongly. And you know, there's been times when I've been back just to watch some of the training sessions. And for me, that's what I see. I just see a bunch of kids playing football, doing what they love, and just really enjoying themselves. So you, you pick a lot of things yeah. up from. Yeah. So so without changing myself, yeah. I was I was just just improving myself. By getting little bits from yeah, everyone. From everyone. I was yeah. like, ah, okay, he's very good at that. I take ten percent yeah, there, yeah, I take ten yeah. percent here. And then you put it all together and, and then, then help you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's I think it's important as well because I've seen so many players who want to be someone else. You know, I it think never it should, works. Uh, no, it doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't no. work. If you want to do I've seen players who want to do the hip shot of Cherry Henry. Yeah. It's his. Yeah. You know? That's what he's good at. That, that's yeah, what yeah, he's yeah. good at. And uh, you should always keep it that way. But if you can learn Bits and pieces, perfect. Yeah. But don't try to emulate, emulate yeah. like uh, like a shot or whatever. Learn from it for yeah. a little bit, but I not think too it's, much. It's important to embrace your own, exactly. your own style. And yeah. yeah, exactly. Improve it. Yeah. But don't try to copy. People, yeah, I think. yeah. It will never work. Yeah. That's the are hardest. You tough on yourself. Yeah. You are. Like whatever anybody ever says about me, it's nothing worse than what I've said yeah. about myself. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I think the people around you help. Um, like obviously, I'm, I'm very self-critical, and that's my way of, of of improving, basically. And my family give me that balance mm. of me criticizing myself, and and them probably uh, being there for me to just to speak to. And for me, if you find what works for you in terms of improvement as a young player, 
then you know you can you can go as far as you want. It's the mind. I think the mindset yeah, the sets mindset, you apart, yeah. and that's what I try to tell the the kids coming through now, is that.